Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and create an icon. So we need icons uh, after this um, text and before this list view. So what we are going to do, we are going to find our list view where we have made it. Um, where is the list view? The list view is somewhere over here and we had this container. So after this text, we are going to create an icon. So the icon is going to have a row and that row is going to have a children's. So uh, children's and first icon what i'm going to have is um icon 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 uh, dot um uh cuper cupertino so we need to use cupertino uh, so what we will do we will um, just go ahead or we will just use material for now material icons so icons dot um uh, play next or forward next something mm, play arrow or um, what is that name of that icon I don't really remember um, next next week now we get next Q play next okay let me see no nope. that is not the icon icons dot um, previous skip previous something like that okay we can use this and um, we are going to use a size um, size of um, let's say for example 30 okay and uh, we are going to use one more icon which is going to be our play button but this is going to be an animated icon so what we will use over here is uh, animated or, or 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 just let's let's just create an icon first then i will show you how to create animated icon uh icon sorry uh, it's going to be an icon icon uh, it's going to be icons dot play arrow I hope that is the correct icon I'm using. I'm getting the error, but I don't know why. It's going to be an icon, not icons. Okay. Okay, that is correct. And um, the size is going to be 30 as well for this also. So go ahead, save it. Paste it one more time and We don't need play arrow. We need a uh, skip. Previous is there, and uh, only previous is there. So what we can do for this? Uh, we should rotate to get the original uh, icon of next because it is uh, previous itself. So we can do something, or we can use the widget called rotate uh, new widget and row the icon rotated box where uh, I will I will just say um, um, let's see one is how much okay two is how much okay that is what we needed so um, save this now we are going to align these items in uh, so the main axis alignment is going to be main axis alignment dot space evenly so that they will get a proper space now uh, we need some padding so go ahead add a padding to the row okay that is fine if you want you can go ahead and increase the uh, icons uh, size because it is looking small I guess 40 will be better okay okay now we we need to create this play icon to be animated from play to pause play to pause okay so what we're going to do is we are going to remove this icon for now okay or we are going to just cut it and what we are going to do is we are going to create we are going to use animate dead icon 
or animated uh, animated icon and animated icon is going to have something called icon and this that icon is going to be our uh, icon uh, sorry and that animate animated icon we are going to use so animated uh, icon dot uh, play pause play pause or play play pause yeah and this icon is going to have a progress and this progress is going to be our controller so we are going to create one animation controller with the name icon play pause controller so just go ahead copy this controller okay and paste it change the name to uh, play play sorry play pause controller okay now uh, play pause controller is going we, we are going to define it inside the um, in it so what we're going to have is uh, play pause controller is equals to um, uh, we could say animation controller and animation controller is going to have a vsync of this and uh, duration which is going to be um, duration of uh, in the time in, in the milliseconds or not minutes it's going to be in a me milliseconds and into 200 milliseconds it should complete the animation now just go ahead copy this play pause controller and give this play pause controller to our icon okay so just save it of course you're going to get the error because the progress is null right now because it's in the init state we need to run the init state to get the value okay now uh, the color is black the color is black why the color is black because again we have to use the same color animation to change the value from black to white white to black so we will go ahead and um, just give the color over here paste it okay and 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 and, and um, rotated box as well save it and i guess uh can we get color over here okay we got color over here and it is going to be let's go ahead and save it so we got our icon but the progress icon is having uh, i mean the animated icon is not having size so what we will do we'll just go ahead and give the size of 40.0 now if you take a look how our icon is going to get changed so um, right now the problem which i'm getting uh, over here is we need to when we just click on this icon I, I need to forward my controller right this controller uh, the play pause controller I should forward on the click of this play button so what I will do is and even I need that uh, a splash effect so well, first of all I will uh, grab this uh, icon animated icon into the widget called uh, material and this material widget is going to give me um, the color and I'm going to say color dot transparent color and one more time I'm going to grab this animated icon widget in, into the ink well okay so um, new widget called ink well So what I will do is um, inkwell and uh, inkwell is going to have um, okay let's let's just see what happened right now so uh, just save it okay and make it uh, modify the code format the code and right now nothing is going to happen because we don't have any tap effect on it okay uh, so to make this uh, animated icon to work uh, we are going to uh, check whether the song is being played or being paused so i will just say boolean um, is song uh, is song playing 
sorry i'm i'm so new with this keyboard and it is key, giving me so much of problem me is song uh, playing and uh, first time it is going to be a false as we did for uh, is animation completed in the same way uh, i'm going to create um for um play song play song and this method is going to check whether uh, if uh, the song is being played or not if song uh, if song is playing then of course i need to pause the song so i will say um song what is the controller name for that icon uh, icon icon i don't remember the name of the uh, controller name for the song uh, icon 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 okay play pause controller okay so i will just go ahead and say play pause controller dot reverse okay and if song is being and if song is being um, let's say if song is being uh, paused or if you want to just start the song if song is not being played then we are going to forward our controller and once we execute this we need to uh, toggle our is playing if it is true then we should uh, make it as false and if it is false it should go to true is song uh, sorry is song playing okay just save it and we'll see what happened now a play song sorry it's a song not soft <laughs> uh, play song should be called on the tap of this button so what we will do we will just go to our inkwell where is the inkwell inkwell where are you inkwell 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 uh, where did it go okay over here and i'm going to call a uh, on tap function and that function is going to be a play song okay just save it and let's see what happened can you see we got that splash effect and the icon is being animated so um now the only one part is remaining for the for the u as we if we take a look on the ui only one part is remaining is we have to make a progress bar and that progress bar is going to uh, be in a total different way maybe uh, there are less so less uh, uh, tutorial to build this kind of things okay so um, we will just go ahead and continue to make a progress bar